to walk up on a stage and do a 45 minute up to an hour show with a band that you have never met is not one of the easiest thing I can tell you that. That is not the case for Toots. I remember when I was a cabaret singer back in Jamaica, I was performing at this popular known hotel. And in the middle of my show, you know, I was doing this song called Sweet and Dandy. Of course, that is from Toots and the Metals. See, you must always do your best you know, whenever you're on stage because you never know who is in the audience. Anyways, while I was in the middle of the song, you know, I saw this person walking up to the stage, you know, in shades. It was dark, you know, lights on the stage, but it was dark in the arm, in the crowd. And this person had on shades, you know, and I saw the smile on the face and he walked up to the side, you know, walked up on the stage and to my surprise, you know, that was the man, Toots. My knee started to wobble and I was excited at the same time because not every day I get to share stage with legends. What was supposed to be a 45 minute cabaret show done by me turned into something magical. Sweet and Dandy by Toots and the Metals is our next lesson. Grab your guitars. Let's go. Dandy, right now the first time i heard this song I, and saw this song was um, in jimmy cliff's movie called harder they come so i implore you guys to go ahead and check that movie out you know jamaican movie harder they come by jimmy cliff all right you can find it it's all over now two centimeters sweet and dandy we're gonna use three cards now guys if you do not know the song it's kind of tricky it's kind of tricky, so let me say this from the jump. You need to listen to the original and get it, get it to soak in your system, in the head, in the brain, in everything. Make it, make it, make it become a part of you. All right, so, because the timing is a bit different, so you want to check that. All right, so you're going to be using... So it's an E-flat major. So you're using an E-flat, you're using a B-flat, Right, and you're using an A flat. All majors, so nothing complicated. It's just the way you strum it. All right, so. And in this song, try your best to avoid the thinner string. It takes a little bit of practice, but you can get it. All right. First card. You wanna come up to the sixth fret, bar the whole sixth fret with the pointer finger. Place the ring finger on the second, third, and fourth string. Like that. All right, the next card is your A flat major bar the whole fourth fret. Put the pointer finger, place the middle finger on the third string, fifth fret, pinky finger on the fourth string, sixth fret, ring finger on the fifth string, sixth fret. And now for the next card, your B flat, you just push it up a hole. So the pointer finger bar is a six fret. And that's it for the cards. It's not hard. Very, very easy with the cards. All right, now it has a stock line. All right, the stock line goes with the arm, um, the cards. So this is where you have to listen and listen for the changes. All right, you have to listen for the changes. So this is gonna be a little bit of practice for you guys. All right, so it's gonna be starting on the one. 
Then. So at times it jumps there from the one from the one to the four. Alright, so you gotta listen. You have to listen to this one. Alright, so let me go with the stock line again. Let me try to do it slower because it can be a bit confusing even for me. Again, one more time for the stock line. Pay attention. Remember to alternate your picking. So here we go. From the one. That's the stock line, all right? So you're using, you're moving with the cards. When the cards move and you hear the changes, that's when you make the change, all right? You're gonna have to be using these fingers. You're gonna, you need to use the four fingers, all right? So if you do not know how to use the four fingers, get back to doing some, some practices like that, some chromatic practice. Make sure every finger is assigned to a fret. All right, so that's how you do that. Okay, so now for the cards. Well, actually the progression, because I already showed you the, the cards, right? Basic cards. Now, if you do not know the song, again, go back and listen to the, to the original and come back. All right, it can be confusing, guys. Don't attempt it if you don't know, because you're going to be upset. All right, so let's get go with the progression. All right? Um, so... I'm going to try to hum it or something to give you a little bit of guidance so you guys can, you know, see what I'm doing. So here we go. Da, da, one. Two, four. That's it. Remember, try your best to avoid the thinner string. One more time. So we go. One. that over and over and over in the end it's gonna be bouncing from the one you know you're gonna be bouncing from the one to the five one to the five one to the five listen to it and you'll hear that all right now, like I said, there are some little changes there. You're going to be hearing this. So you're going to be hearing that on the one before you jump to the four. And at times you're going to be hearing it in the five. You can already hear that happening. So let me try to, you know, do a little bit of that so you guys can hear. So it goes like this. I don't want you to pay attention. Pay attention. All right. So we got one.
right? You see when I play it. Just before I get off the one, the last stroke, I play the dominant. Okay, to get that dominant seven right there, you want to bar the old six fret. You want to place the ring finger on the fourth string, eight fret. Place the pinky finger on the second string, eight fret. You're going to hear that before I bounce to the. While they were in a barroom last night, you can hear it now. So to get this one up here on the on the four, you want to bar well. Of course, you still play the B flat. You just want to lift the pinky finger, which should be simple. Now again, you need to listen for the changes. All right, and then, all right. So again, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna spell them out so you guys can hear. So it goes like. Hear that? It's a perfect While they were dancing in the barroom last night Eh eh Da 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 Listen up for the changes you know Alright, you just need to add the stroke into it now. Add the strumming. You know? And that's basically it for the cards and everything. Now, for your strumming, you wanna, it's, remember it's scat, you know, kind of a scat song. So it's a up. So you wanna, a long stroke up, down, and you wanna bar with the hand here. No. You want to keep, so you want to squeeze and keep the squeeze. So it's not like ready, you're going to, and release, you're going to. So both hands should be sinking. You realize when I come up with the last one, I squeeze and release because it's a quick one. All right. So you listen to the sound and you're going to use, you know, let the hand go with it. All right. So. So stop with the hand there. Pay attention to both hands now. And that's basically how you strum the song. Strong, you know, it's very simple. Well, let me not say that again. <laughs> All right. So let's recap for the um for the the stock line. And remember, at times you can double it up. All right. Like that. 
Remember when you are doing the stock lines, the, the pick should be as if you are trying to cut the string. It slides easier. Alright, cause if you use a pick flat, it will work, but it's a bit more complicated. Alright, so you can choose if you want to do that. So recap. So you just listen up for the changes and you go with that. Yeah, all right. Now, if there's anything that I could have done to make it easier, make this tutorial easier on the brain or on the hands, please let me know. For all those who find the tutorial helpful, put it down there in the comment section. Also, drop more requests. You know, talk to me a little bit. Remember, before you take this on, go ahead and listen to the original. There will be a link in the description to the original song. Put it in the ears. Listen it. Listen to it for a while. You know, and then come back here. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Bring some more people here. Let us teach them the art of reggae. My name is Zion. I'll see you next time. Blessed love. Peace out.